Thank you. Uh, Mr. Allard, thank you for a brief summary of the legislation. And Mr. Reif, help us understand as far as the congressional ability to intervene and cut this process off. In my review of the legislation pending before us, an individual member of Congress now can file a resolution to decert TPA authority with you. Is that correct? That an yes. individual can and that it's something that cannot be amended by either Ways and Means or the Finance Committee if that resolution is pending? Yes, that's correct. The, res the text of the resolution is set forth in statute and sp specifies that the President has failed to meet the negotiating objectives or to consult with Congress and therefore TPA is withdrawn and, and that, that cannot be amended. And that resolution is something that the committee does have to take up and consider within a certain time period? Yes, with respect to the uh, consultation and compliance resolution, if when the committee meets to consider the implementing bill, it reports out that implementing bill with something other than a favorable recommendation, it is mandated to take up the, the, the resolution within a time certain. Right. Thank you for that clarification. And I'm also trying to understand some of the significant differences between the legislation pending before us today and previous TPAs. And as I read the legislation, before us, we have as one of the core negotiating objectives that our trading partners must adopt and maintain core international labor standards with trade sanctions if they do not comply with that. Is that correct? That is correct. And that's something that had never existed in a prior TPA before Congress. That is, that is right? correct. And also as one of the core negotiating objectives, our trading partners must adopt and maintain common multilateral environmental agreements, and again, with trade sanctions that would apply if they don't. Uh, comply with that. Is that yes, correct? Yes, that, that is correct. And that had not existed in prior TPA agreements. Is, yes, yes, Mr. Kahn. It also has a provision in there that establishes the Directive for Trade Agreements to foster innovation and to promote access to, to medicines, prescription medications uh, with our trading partners. Is that correct? Yes. And it also has, for the first time, a negotiating objective recognize the importance of trade agreements in advancing human rights uh, in the implementation of these trade agreements. Is that correct? Yes. That's something that we had never touched upon in prior Congresses with TPA that's, authority. That's correct. It had never been mentioned before. And another significant difference is the whole transparency issue and the publication. Obviously, we've got a reporting requirement for when a, an administration does reach an agreement that they have to report to Congress, and then that starts the clock for a 90-day period uh, in working with Congress and publicizing the, the agreement, the terms of the agreement with us. Yes. Um, that 60 days before signing the agreement, it must be published. To the, to the entire public? Yes. I'm just talking about the congressional trigger, and there's a 90-day that gets triggered before the president is even allowed to sign the agreement? Yes, 60 days before the president is allowed to sign the agreement, it must be made public to everyone, posted on the web. Okay, and that's something that had not existed in prior TPA agreements. That's, that's new to this, this legislation as well. So there's some significant differences with the legislation that we have pending before us today that we have never seen in prior TPA in order to advance and elevate core labor standards, environmental standards, and I think with the honest attempt to try to level the playing field for our workers, our businesses, our farmers, so they have a better chance of competing sec successfully in the 21st century global marketplace. I think those are some key provisions that I think need highlighting and something that's new that the Congress is taking upon in the in the course of this legislation. So, Mr. Chairman, with that, I'd, I'd yield back. 